I'm going to the airport. You can add a respect a patient, and then you can add, let another patient be respect another patient. She don't have an idea that I was in the front when she let the patient call me bitch. And I hear everything, I mean, why the reason? I don't see you fighting with no one of the nurses here. Mm -hmm. So it, the patient can be complicated. Even you have a, no, you are the person who don't let nobody step on you. You are like me. I don't let people disrespect me or step on me. And if you were the problem, why are you not arguing over here with all the nurses? And they different at once. So it's very disrespectful. I don't like that. That's why I go get you because I was just, you know, caring about your loans. I was the one who spent two, th two days with you at the clinic. And I know something was not right with your lungs. And all I thought is, wow, she gonna pass out, she don't have nobody there, and maybe she gonna die. Yeah. I thought I was gonna die. Huh? I We did a lot. Now I'm tired. Leaving La Serena. What a long ass fucking day. Whew. I'm so tired. I'm doing better. I'm managing. and it's typically given at the same time for X amount of days after surgery. I got mine every night. Bien, gracias. So I just left my last post-op with my 
doctor. I'm gonna keep my drain probably for at least a week. She did change my back stitches. She said that the way they were, there would have been a risk for a keloid, so she gave me new dissolvable stitches in two places in my back and she cleaned me up real good. Oh my God, I saw my belly button today for the first time. I kissed her. It's so cute. What else did she do today? She gave me a lot of instructions. I'm gonna go back to La Serena to pick up a few things. She put a little lidocaine in my back before she changed the stitches. That part wasn't fun, but at least it numbed me so I didn't feel the stitches too much. Just a little pressure. She gave me an antibiotic shot because you know I threw up 15 times. The medicine makes me gasp. I have a really hard time with it. So she, she gave me a shot, which I really appreciate it because you know, I'm, I've been terrified of, of an infection. What else did we do? I, I'm not so thrilled about these stitches on my back because it might leave a little scar. I have my scar treatment plan and you know, I'll be showing you guys how, how it's healing. That's better than a little hole or a little, you know, keloid, which I, which I wouldn't want. And I'm sitting here at La Serena trying to do an exchange for the Tecosol because my doctor said it's no good. My skin itch is not that great, so I'm trying. Look. Here. You gotta go to transit. So this whole time, I thought my flight was Sunday morning. I have two hyperbaric chamber sessions scheduled for tomorrow. And now I realize my flight is tomorrow at 6 a.m. He straight his stuff. <laughs> yeah. See. Sí. Gracias. <laughs> Day nine post stop. Saw my doctor for the second time this morning. And she said no slit in my incision. I can certainly stand up straight. I don't know that I can certainly stand up straight, but a bitch is trying. Shoulders. So these girls are fucking trying to cut my driver off walking and then rolling their eyes at him when he has the right of way. It's a green light. And I stay in the car, Mama Webo. And then he rolls down the window telling me to say it again. And I'm like, I'm bad. I don't know why this shit is burning so much today, cause it never burned this much, but I've been, whew, this is a drain. I've been struggling. Poor thing, I fucking almost smacked the shit out of her, trying to help me get this thing on. It was like a natural reaction because the pain was so bad. Oh, ooh, it's never been this bad. This is day nine. I went and visited recovery homes and met with new business partners. And of course, I'm out here treating these burns as much as I can. I can't even sleep thinking about Raquel and... Oh my God. I'm just so grateful I've had a rough time here, but I'm alive and I get to go back home to my family.
Well, I will not miss this. I tell you yeah. that. Bien. Whew. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Me going to the airport. First in line, like always. You play the back, bitch, I'm in the front. I'm home, my best friend picked me up and in my truck, which makes it so much better. Yay! is so puffy numb it's swollen hard it feels like there's little balls in it did i say puffy i'm about to give myself a little face massage because i desperately have to drain this area right now but this is how it looks i just got tape off of this area for the first time yesterday but look at how fat it is underneath I'll let you know how the massage goes. Let me know in the comment section down below.